So you go into your interface, plus new campaign. I'm going to set it up very quickly. We won't go through each and every uh, campaign uh, setup because I have got other videos on the channel. You can just search them. But this is uh, where I just want to show you how to set up the dynamic search ads. Uh, where is it gone? So obviously I don't run on the display network. Now, this is where you need to just make a a little uh, adjustment so go into your show more settings and you have your dynamic search ad settings over here and you enter your domain name and select use Google's index of my website this is the easiest way to do that select your location your languages etc audiences budget not gonna go into the base but I want to show you what we do when we go on to our um, ad group level and then obviously you go to put in your site links call outs etc at account level I usually set them up so they run with all my campaigns now you will find that the ad group type is dynamic which we need you can put in your ad group name here and you will see that categories recommended for your website so when I put in my web URL it then shows me all these relevant categories or there might be some categories which may not be relevant I can check them off and target them or another easy way is a couple of ways is you can either select a specific web page of your website so if you don't want to if you want to exclude some of the products or services then you don't put them in here so all all you do is put the web pages which you want to target that's it or if you want to select all your website all your services check that save and continue And now you come to your description. So this is where you enter your description one and description two. You can't change anything else. As you can see over here, it will auto generate from the landing page. It will auto generate your headline one and your display URL. And that's all you need to to worry about is to put in these two descriptions and you save and continue what I would recommend is add at least two ads um, so that you can split test um, if you are a bit keen uh, add three ads into each ad group and let it run and that's about it really and that's how easy it is to set up a dynamic um, search ads uh, campaigns in your Google Ads account. You will find that sometimes Google will show your ads for search terms which are not relevant. All you do is search, put them as negative keywords at account level. Now what you will also find there are two things which really help with your other search campaigns as well first of all you will find new search term queries which you never seen before or even thought about it you start adding them into your uh, search campaign and write specific ads for those terms the other thing which is extremely important is also the negative keywords you will start to find that there are certain search terms which are being triggered by Google and you never thought of putting them up as negative keywords so don't, then what you do is set them up at uh, set them up in your uh, keyword list now what I tend to do is for my negative keyword list I set them up at account level like this so whenever I want to add a new negative keyword I can um, add it 
let's see. New negative keyword. Obviously, this is my test account, so I'm just showing you, and that is it. So now what will happen is it will apply to all the campaigns. So right now I've got these 70 odd campaigns in my in this test account. As long as they are up, this negative list is applied to all of these. Whatever ke uh, keywords I enter here in one go, all these campaigns uh, will look into this uh, list and those negative keywords will apply to all of them. So that's a great way and a e very easy and effortless way to uh, set up your negative keywords as well.